James Ellsworth has been accused of sending explicit photos to an underage girl on Snapchat. She outed him on Twitter, called him a creep, and said that he sent photos and videos of himself in some of the images his privates are exposed, in others that he's posing in uh, sexual ways. Ugh. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Just a dry heave there. Just the thought of it makes me want to puke. Uh, I saw the blurred images. I have no interest in seeing the uncensored version. I, I get the picture here of what's going on. This girl is a big wrestling fan. If you look at her Twitter, uh, she's met a lot of wrestlers. It even says she's an aspiring wrestler. She claims to be 16 years old. We don't yet know that to be fact. I will say she looks younger than 16 to me. So there can be no debate about whether or not this girl is underage. She clearly is, which makes this story even more gross. She claims that she met James at an independent show a few weeks ago. She was a fan of his. He knew that she was underage because it came up in their conversation about how old she is. And she mentioned it and he sort of backed off. And she did ask him to follow her on Twitter, which he did. And she DM'd him later to wish him good luck in his match. Later, he then asked for her Snapchat. And she ended up giving it to him. And then unsolicited, he sent her the images and the videos in question, knowing that she was underage. This is what the girl claims. Her name is, is Kenzie. Now, Ellsworth posted a tweet on behalf of his attorneys saying, My client, James Morris, known publicly and professionally as James Ellsworth, has become aware of a number of baseless allegations. Mr. Morris has the utmost respect for women and categorically denies these inflammatory and despicable accusations, Bates and Garcia, attorneys at law. Has the utmost respect for women. Eh, it's kind of a weird position for him to be in when he's defending the intergender championship at all these uh, independent shows. But, uh, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm just kidding here. Uh, the girl has shared screenshots of all of this stuff, uh, claims that multiple female wrestlers have since contacted her, to share their own stories about how creepy he's been around other wrestlers in the past. And that's really where things uh, stand right now. I'm not sure if any police report has been filed. Uh, I did read that her father may have already contacted the authorities. If she's telling the truth, then going to the police or going to the FBI is a must. You've got to let them know so they can investigate. Uh, I can understand going on Twitter... Now, for the people shitting on her, because why would you go on Twitter? Why would you go on social media? Well, uh, it should be pretty friggin' obvious, but if not, I'll spell it out for you. Because if this guy really is creeping on underage girls, you want to warn people about it. Right? You gotta think if he's doing it with her, if he's doing this and sending these things to a 16-year-old, he's probably doing it with other people, he's probably done it before. You know what, if that were me, if I were in that position, yeah, I'd do the same thing. I'd go to the authorities first, I'd make sure i cover my own rear end, but yeah, I would want to go on social media and I would want to warn other women and other fans, hey, this happened to me, stay away from this guy. Or at least if you're, if you're dealing with him, if you're working with him, be aware. This is what happened to me. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna attack the girl for going on social media like I see some people doing, because that's ridiculous. She has every right to go on social media and let people know that this guy is a creep and a perv if that's what he is. But you have to also go to the authorities. And I, I don't know for sure if that is something that has, you know, has already happened. Now, of course, if she's not telling the truth, and she's offered a lot of evidence so far, and screenshots and videos of stuff, but if, if she's not being completely honest about what, what's going on here, then a man's reputation is forever ruined, and he would have grounds to sue. So, you know, it's very easy, like in a situation like this, if you were accused of something, and it was a blatant falsity, it was a blatant lie, somebody just pulled it out of thin air, and they're trying to ruin your reputation or something like that, uh, and you know that you're innocent, and you know you're in the clear, you sue that person's ass. Right? That's what any normal person would do. It's like when these books come out. You hear about whether it's about political campaigns, when the campaign is over, people tell stories, the, the inevitable book comes out, and there's some salacious stuff in there. You can tell whether somebody 
You know, even if they say, oh, that's false, that didn't happen. Well, did they sue? Because if they didn't, then it happened. <laughs> if it's that serious that somebody really went after your character and integrity and told flagrant lies about you, then they slandered you. And you would sue. So if she's not telling the truth, for her sake, she better get herself a good attorney because she could be in a lot of hot water, you know, legally uh, herself. But she certainly seems credible, given all the stuff that she's put out there. We don't yet have all the facts. Ellsworth is certainly entitled to tell his side of the story and try to explain why does this girl have all of these photos and videos of him. And I'm sure he, on the advice of his attorney, has not yet done that. As far as Ellsworth goes, I'll just say this. If it comes to light that he did this, or has a history of doing this, because I guarantee you, if he did this, this is not the first time. You have got to be some kind of dumb shit to throw away your career. A career that you were gifted. A contract with WWE, even after he left the company. They would still pick up the phone and call him to come in and make cameo appearances. It wasn't that long ago that he was back on television. He was backstage for SmackDown 1000, even though he never made it on TV because they ran out of time. They would call him, they would bring him in, they would do skits with him. I think he was just also on that Being the Elite show uh, on YouTube. So, you know, he's making all these appearances. And I'm sure all of these things made him that much more of a hotter commodity on the indie scene. Because this guy's been working indies for years. Ran his own promotion, might still run his own promotion. I don't know if he still does or not. You know, Jimmy Dream. And, and he had a name, but by no means was he a big star. I can't imagine this guy was making great money. And then one day, by, by chance, he gets this big break with WWE, the biggest company in the world. He's on TV wrestling AJ Styles. Can't, you can't predict these things. This guy was gifted that opportunity that people would kill for. And he had the cameo even at Bound for Glory. There's another appearance he made recently. He came out to answer the open challenge with Eli Drake and... People were very disappointed when Ellsworth came out. They were hoping for Chris Jericho. That's quite the come down. But all these appearances, this guy somehow managed, he, he managed to take a nickel and turned it into a small fortune. And he's sending dick pics to 16-year-olds on Snapchat. I don't know if he's still married. I, I know it, well, he was at one point. I don't know if he still has a wife. If Again, he's divorced. I believe he has a kid. If he did this, he deserves everything he's got coming to him. His family doesn't. Unfortunately for them, they also kind of get caught in the crossfire of all this. And, and the shame and the embarrassment of this. If they didn't know this was going on behind their back. Now, even if he didn't do it, his career with WWE is over. Either way, his career with WWE is over. I mean, the, 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 this guy is radioactive now. The stain of this is not going to go away. They're never going to touch this guy again. Why would you throw all of that away? And sending pornography to a minor is a crime. I mean, Anthony Weiner, and yes, that is the guy's real name. He was a congressman here in New York. He was going to run for mayor. He had big political aspirations. He was going places. He got two years in prison for sexting a 15-year-old girl. Same exact thing, almost, from, from the way all of this sounds. He was sending, you know, dick pics and things of that nature to this girl. She was underage. Uh, although in his case, I don't know if, I don't remember if he knew or claimed he didn't know. I mean, in this case, if this girl's telling the truth, he flat out knew that she was underage and did this anyway, which makes it even worse. But yeah, you know, Wiener, the congressman, is another perfect example of what could happen here. Two years in prison this guy got, although he went by the name Carlos Danger uh, when he would uh, sex with this girl. But he went to prison, and if Ellsworth did this, he's going to prison too. You know, in the pokey. Any man with two hands has a fighting chance takes on a very different meaning.